guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be part 8 of the series that I do on my channel where I react to your period horror stories. I cannot believe that this is the 8th part of this series. That's like crazy to me. I'm actually on my period filming this part and in the part 7, like the last part that I filmed, I was also on my period while filming it. So I've definitely been in the mood to react to your period horror stories. As always, on my community tab on the 1st of this month, the 1st of July, I posted, hi guys, happy July. I can't believe that it's already July. Like didn't 2022 just start? Anyway, here's the post for you guys to leave your crazy, embarrassing, insane, and or funny period horror stories for me to react to in a part 8 of my reacting to your period horror stories series on my channel. I'm doing one of these every month as you guys know so this is the post for July. So basically if you did not know this already basically what I do every month is I put up a community tab post on the first of the month so that you guys have all month to submit your period horror stories and then at the end of the month I upload that part of this series if that makes any sense. All the other parts that I've done before will be linked down below and also if your story isn't featured in this video because I don't want this video to be insanely long and you guys submitted over 100 period horror stories then definitely look out for the next community tab tab post to have an opportunity to like submit it again and also like if this is like your first time on my channel or whatever or like just if you feel like it comment down below period horror story that you have before we get into this video the next community tab post that I will have going up like the post for part 9 it should be going up August 1st but honestly I don't know if I will put it up August 1st just because I don't know if I'll be able to do like a part of the series in August just because I'll be going back to school in person after doing online since the pandemic started so I really have to get used to that but if I don't do this series like in August or whatever like during back to school for me then I will definitely continue with the series like eventually like soon like after I get used to school in person if you know what I mean and so yeah I don't want to talk anymore I just want to react to all of your period horror stories I'm kind of terrified to start reading these because every time I film part of the series I just get more and more traumatized at how much you guys have been through when it comes to periods so anyway let's get into the video so I have my computer right here and I'm going to read as many as possible without making this video crazy long my period horror story just so happens to be my first period story I was across the country in a hotel room with my dad and brother with no supplies on a seven-day trip On the second day we arrived, I discovered that I think I started my period I freak out because I have no supplies and I'm going to have to wear dresses and sit for long hours at formal events The reason we were there I proceed to nearly throw up during a graduation ceremony and have terrible cramps during the five hour long car drive to the airport Let alone the eight hour plane ride I had to go home Meanwhile, I'm forced to awkwardly make my dad take me to a store to get supplies. Thankfully my period wasn't super heavy because I can't imagine. Love you, Ruby. Love you too. That is, I think, the worst scenario in like setting for a period that I've ever heard. So basically I was on my period during winter break one time, but it was only like my second or third ever, so I wasn't super used to it yet. We went up a ski hill for the day and when we were going for lunch, I realized I had forgotten to pack pads on the trip. <sighs> Keep in mind, it's a two-hour drive back to where I live. It's only the middle of the day, and my period was pretty heavy since I was on day three or four. I was panicking because I was only with my dad and brother again. I feel so bad for you guys. So obviously, they didn't have anything, and we were in the middle of a mountain, so I couldn't buy anything either. I also am a super shy, socially anxious person, so asking someone for a pad was kind of out of the question for me personally. I decided to go to the washroom and see if they had any period products, but they didn't, even though they should. Yes, they definitely should. I was freaking out at this point because my pad was pretty much full, and I still had around six hours till I would be home. Long story short Long story short, it was a bad time. I frantically wrapped like an entire roll of toilet paper around my underwear and skied for the rest of the day and then kept my snow pants on the entire drive home in case I leaked, which I inevitably did. It was stressful but funny looking back on it. Please, if you're watching this out there and nothing like this has ever happened to you, use these people's experiences to remind yourself, always have pads with you. Like even if you don't think your periods, like just always have pads with you, like always. I should probably take my own advice. Even though I make period videos, I'm like the least prepared person when it comes to my period. So I just got my first period on May 10th, 2021, but I was going to summer camp a month and a half after, but nothing happened. So on the first night of camp on June 21st, I got my second one. And at camp, we go swimming every day, tubing, and a lot of water activities. So when I woke up, I ignored the stain since I was new to womanhood. And here's where it gets interesting. We go on a brand new activity you need harnessed in with two male instructors, and I bled through my shorts. Light gray, so I didn't get to go on that activity. Why didn't you get to? Oh, I guess you had to go change. Are the male instructors? 
sister's the ones who pointed it out. I would die of embarrassment. My period was just a long lasting horror story. That is a great way of describing my period. And it happened this week. On day zero of my period, I noticed red discharge, so I put on a regular pad to bed, thinking that nothing would happen. Well, when I got up, blood gushed out of me, and I got stains on my pajamas, and the chair I was sitting on. Then I went to work. I work in a store where the worst thing happened. I started to get really lightheaded and then fainted, which was really embarrassing. Well, I mean, I hope you were like, okay. My mom picked me up and I rested for a day. The next day we were supposed to go to the amusement park, but I didn't want to go because I was still feeling lightheaded. The next day I went back to work with one normal pad and when I got home, I realized that I leaked onto my shorts. I am so scared that someone saw. Anyway, it has just been the worst period. On top of that, my periods are super regular. So the last time I had one was three months ago. Wow. Like I just, I feel so bad for people out there. Cause like I used to be like this really irregular. I'm getting a little more regular, but sometimes I'm still irregular. And like, it's just the worst. Like imagine you were in the store all day and all the customers saw. I really hope they didn't see. <laughs> Keep in mind, I was 11 at the time and periods were kind of new to me. So I was at school and I didn't know that I was going to have my period. And my mom told me to just use toilet paper if I needed to. So I took toilet paper and thought I would be fine the rest of the day. But on that day, I was wearing light jeans. <sighs> So when I got out of six hour, I thought everything was fine, even though I hadn't changed the toilet paper the whole day, about four to five hours. Oh my God, if that was really thin toilet paper. <laughs> And no one mentioned anything that I know I was the first person in my friend group to get my period So I thought I was fine, but when I got home and went to the bathroom, there was a small red stain on my pants <gasps> Honestly, this is so traumatizing for me to read right now because I've never had a period in in-person school And I'm about to go into in-person school for the first time since the pandemic started and I got my period over the pandemic So I'm just terrified of this happening to me But the worst part is that some kids were in the hallway laughing about something and I thought it could have been that <laughs> Hopefully they were laughing about something else. I'm just so sorry that that happened to you. Like, I don't know how I would live that down. So I didn't know I was going to start my period. I never had one. So I put on these purple leggings for bowling. Well, I know where this is going. I was so excited since I just got the leggings. I felt a little weird down there. So I looked down, Blood. lots of it. Let's just say it all turned out okay because the stain came out of the leggings, but also not okay because moral of the story, periods suck. That is so accurate. Periods are just evil. Like if you were wearing like dark sweatpants, it wouldn't have come. You know what I mean? This is my friend's story and she let me share this and I'll be telling it from my perspective because I was there for the whole thing. Ooh, I'm invested. So October last year, me and my friend are at school wearing really baggy white shorts. We used to always wear white pants on Wednesdays. Neither of us had gotten our first periods yet, although that was about to change. Everything was fine until lunch when I'm doing some homework on my laptop that I was meant to do the night before when it dings. It was an email from my friend and the only thing the email had in it was the Japanese flag over and over again. That is exactly what my best friend and I did when we got our first periods. I went over to my bag and opened up my emergency period pencil case case it had pads in it and panty liners. I thought the pads were the ones in the yellow wrappers so I grabbed one and ran up to the toilets where my friend was waiting outside with her laptop in her hands. I handed the pad to her and she put it on. After lunch we had history where we had to do a presentation. It was my friend's turn and so she got up and before I could say anything she was out of hearing range. She leaked onto her white pants. You know what? Like honestly this is what I mean. Your period couldn't have come on any other day. Like her period like it had to come on the Wednesday like the day that you guys wear white pants. Like what kind of luck is that? There was a massive stain on the back and it still looked wet so she's doing her presentation and about halfway through her face falls and she stops talking. She looks me straight in the eye, most help, and then leaks a massive blood clot that falls right out of her shorts and onto the fl floor. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Everyone is laughing, including the teacher. That is just horrible. And my friend runs out crying. I go after her and then we discover that I'd given her a panty liner instead of a pad. This is the reason I don't want my first period. Love you, Ruby. Love you too. Can you go to your friend right now? Maybe like send her this video, tell her like I read this story and just tell her. I could not feel more bad for a person. It's not your fault though. Like you didn't know it was like a panty liner instead of a pad. So basically I have been having really bad discharge and I read online that when you have discharge, it sometimes means your period's coming. The discharge stayed for three days and then two days I didn't have any. Now it's the day of our seven hours and 30 minutes trip. We stop at a Chick-fil-A and I go to the bathroom and I didn't notice a drop of blood on my undies. I get back in the car and we do the rest of the trip and getting food for cabin and got dinner. Finally, we get there five hours later and I go to the bathroom and I see blood on my fave undies. RIP fave undies. Yeah, let's just take a moment of silence for those underwear. <laughs> I go to tell my mom and she's like, are you kidding? Because it's at the most random time ever. Finally, we have to call the main resort at the top of the mountain and they bring me like four pads. So yeah, and they were normal and maxi, not even overnight. Also, my flow was medium. When we were waiting for the stuff, my three years older brother kept asking me questions and I had to tell him, which was like, <laughs> honestly, I'm 
mean, at least he like cares and he's interested. I mean, as long as he wasn't like making fun of you. Oh God, that is just a nightmare situation. I had gotten COVID from a school trip that I went on a few days prior. I found this out later because a couple other kids that went on the trip also got COVID. Though it was a very mild case, I was still coughing, sneezing, feeling sick, blah, blah, blah. I really hope you're better now. After like three days of feeling sick and not showering, I finally built up the strength to take a shower. So I'm in the shower feeling great. Then all of a sudden I see blood in the water by my feet. I look down there and sure enough, I stood in my period in the shower. Honestly, like you'd think the water would stop it. That's interesting. Meaning I had nothing prepared outside of the shower. Oh god, that is such a nightmare. After this incident, my period lasted for like nine days. Having a period and COVID sucked because of how often I coughed and sneezed. But luckily my case was very, very mild. I love you, by the way. Love you too. I'm very glad that you're better and like your case was mild and everything. But I think last time, like in the last part of the series, I also read a horror story about like having COVID and your period. That is just like something you can tell your kids one day because like us teenagers like lived through this pandemic and also had to deal with like getting our period. That is just a horrible situation, but I mean, at least it's over now. I wish I had gotten that message about never believing your period is over earlier. My second period had just ended. I was on my way to a roller coaster park with my family and a couple of friends. On the ride there, I shifted in my seat and felt it. I was only wearing a liner, so I got right into the bathroom as soon as I could, and it was horrifying, but didn't get on my shorts, which were black, but had a white edge. So thank the universe. I shoved toilet paper in my pants and it turned out fine, but I thought I was screwed because we got there in the morning at like nine and weren't leaving until eight-ish. Did that toilet paper last i mean you must have just had to keep going to the bathroom it just sucks like then you can't enjoy yourself at the roller coaster park like then you have to worry about your period i do competitive dance and i was at my national competition which is the biggest competition oh good for you and right before i went on for my solo my friend said you should probably go to the bathroom and i was really confused but i looked down and there was blood all over my light blue costume they had to reschedule my dance and i ended up using part of one of my other costumes and part of my friend's costume i ended up winning first place though so it wasn't all a disaster well congratulations on that I, I don't even know what to say that is just a horrifying situation so my friends and i went to the same school it was a wednesday morning and she secretly told me i got my period and i need help side note this was her first period i of course did help her i gave her a pad and it was an assembly in the morning where all 1200 students went and she was called up to get some award and she was walking up there when this one kid who cannot keep his mouth shut screamed out hey there's a massive red spot on your dress she's got her period and then everyone except me started laughing i just can't like this is part of why i want to make more period videos and just keep making them like that's just horrible she then started crying and ran out of the chapel i followed along with but the thing is i couldn't give her a spare change of clothes because here in australia we're required to wear a uniform and it was dress uniform which is just a dress nothing else i recently made a video on this like the struggle of clothes on your period that's just so unfair like for people with periods like it should just be changed so she called her mom to come pick her up and she did when she came the next day she was laughed at by literally everyone this is what i mean like they treat it like it's her fault like that's just horrible i tried to calm her down but she just ran away and she's never returned to the school again she changed schools and she's happy now we still keep in contact which is good for her also just a major side note i got detention for a week because i ran out of the assembly to comfort my friend who just got laughed at by 1199 people like are you kidding me <laughs> I want to talk to the people in charge of your school. That is just, they need some kind of bullying assembly, period assembly, and also general assembly for like what to not do. My cousin was at a rodeo performing. She had not gotten her period yet, keep that in mind. She was up next to perform and she felt it, but had no time to go to the bathroom. She got on her white horse. Now it's too late for you and your white horse. And started to ride. She was going really fast and she started feeling crampy and really bad down there. She was done performing and she got off her horse and there was a big blood blood on her poor horse let's just say the horse still has it to this day <laughs> that is the funniest period horse story i think i've ever heard <laughs> imagine just seeing that white horse with like a blood stain on it from some yeah, with this story this is so funny i feel so bad for your cousin but like that is so funny basically what happened is i was at home and i was on my third period on the second day for those of you who think the second day of your period makes you get the heaviest flow i agree i had a tampon in and i already had it in for about four to five hours at the time i didn't think i would have to change it for another hour about 10 minutes after i went to the bathroom to do number one i realized immediately that i had leaked through the tampon and i had blood all over my underwear i eventually realized i also had leaked through my favorite beige colored shorts that i had on luckily no one saw the blood though r.i.p beige shorts rest in peace to your base shorts this is honestly why i'm scared to try tampons like i feel like i need to have something on my underwear to like protect it you know what i mean i was 10 years old in our fifth grade state testing i had never had my period before but really wanted it so i felt something in my pants and went to the bathroom you know what happened next i was literally shaking i started crying in the stall and people in the other stalls that heard sounded so concerned and i absolutely destroyed my pink underwear oh my god that is horrible i was so lucky that i was wearing black pants though oh that was also the same day i got my braces on and i had cramps the whole appointment it ended the day before 
before my dance recital and I had to do rehearsal on my period. That period lasted for 11 days. 11, uh, what? what kind of period is that? I feel so bad for you at 10 years old, like you 10 year old self during the state testing and all that going on and having to deal with that. So I was at home laying in my sister's bed watching some YouTube. I was actually watching one of your period playlists. Thank you so much. And all of a sudden I felt cold down there. So I stood up and I looked on the bed and saw blood. So I kind of freaked out and quickly ran into the, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like did my videos bring it on? So I kind of freaked out and quickly ran into the hallway and looked for a clean bed sheet and some stain wipes. As I came back in the room to clean it, my sister walked in the one whose bed I was laying on. She asked me what the blood was doing on her bed and I panicked and said that my legs started to bleed. She asked me why there was so much blood and I told her that I was itching it. She walked out of the room and I quickly cleaned it up and luckily she forgot about it a while after. Also, this has happened multiple times and I've used the same excuse for all of them. I mean, if she was like an older sister, how would she not guess that it was like a period? I am just really sorry to all these bitches that you stand. I mean, it's not your fault, but like, I'm really sorry for them. So it was my first ever period and I had no idea that it had started. I just laid in bed like all morning so when I got up I felt a red waterfall. I looked down and there was blood all over the white bed sheets. That is just the worst possible combination like of a situation. By the way that period was so heavy and it lasted for 11 days. What is with these 11 day periods? I'm like really concerned. When I was 12 I started my first period. I went over to my friend's house to play with her and three others. We decided to go and jump on her trampoline. Bad idea. We were playing that egg game where you try to crack each other by jumping. I was jumping. I jumped up really high and landed in a cannonball position. I didn't notice that I was leaking just a little bit. But when I landed, my jean shorts split open and blood went all over the trampoline. <laughs> my friend's mom was really cool about it and gave me a towel to wrap around my waist as I walked home and she didn't make it weird. Everybody was super cool about it, so I changed and we all laughed about it and continued playing mortifying. I mean, at least everyone was sweet about it, but yeah, that is pretty mortifying. I don't know how I would be okay with that. <laughs> I don't know how I would be okay after that. So I was at the airport. I wasn't supposed to start my period for another week and I felt really nauseous and had cramps, so I went to the bathroom to check and it looked like someone got murdered down there. If you know, you know. And I didn't have a pad or a tampon, so I asked my mom, and she searched everywhere in her bag for a pad, and then I had to use a panty liner. Oh, that just sucks. And I was putting it on, and they started loading the freaking plane, so I had to rush, and then I sat on a plane and in the car, and walked around for about six hours with a crooked panty liner down there, and I leaked through to my light jeans. But luckily, I had a jacket. Well, rest in peace to those light jeans. So yeah, worst plane ride ever. That is just a nightmare. Like, why did I have to come at the airport? Like, I'm really convinced periods have some kind of motive. So I woke up because morning flow, so I went downstairs. I changed my pad then my mom came up to me she said that my dog got into the bathroom trash he had a used pad on his bed but the thing is my mom wasn't the one who saw it it was my dad imagine your dad walking up to the dog bed and there's just like a bloody used pad on it like just casually there so i started my period on may 9th 2021 aka mother's day and before i got it i was having cramps but i thought nothing of it we were having a big family gathering and i was wearing light yellow shorts please just don't wear light colored clothes if you have a uterus i had gone to use the bathroom and i had seen blood all over my underwear and shorts i did not know what a period was at the time because my mom never talked about it after i got out of the bathroom i went to my room and cried because i thought i was going to die soon after my older cousin came in and I told her what happened and she explained it all to me. That is so sweet. For the rest of the night, I just sat on the toilet until everyone left. That's so sad. And see, this is like just why I want more period education. It's like, I feel like all these people like get their period, first period, whatever, and have like these traumatic experiences. Like that just sucks. Really sorry that happened to you. Be ready for this because it's very scary. Oh God. Okay, anyway, so it was like in the middle of June last year and I was camping with my family and for whatever reason, I didn't think to bring any pads or liners. I ended up getting my period while we were hiking and I didn't notice until my mom pointed out that there was some sort of stain on my bum it ended up traveling all the way up my back how heavy was that period once we got back to our trailer my mom gave me some of her tampons which i have never used before so i had her help me put it in it was so embarrassing i thought you didn't have to take out tampons until your period was over so i left it in all night and the next day and then i got an infection oh my god i mean i'm guessing you're okay but like wow that's scary i'm glad i read this in this video to like serve as a little lesson to all of you guys change your tampons frequently so this was my third period i think and i was in the store with my mom looking for gifts for my dad's birthday and I felt something leaking and I told my mom I need to use the bathroom and so I went and into the bathroom I saw the blood had leaked through my jeans people including my mom had seen and my mom came in and talked me down about how to clean up and stuff she actually gave me her jacket to cover it around my waist but turns out the next day I went to school there was a video someone filmed at the same store as me from school of me walking to the bathroom with blood on my pants I don't know who posted it but everyone at my school saw the video and I was embarrassed that is just horrible they shared that around what is with all the like humiliation and embarrassing when it comes to like periods like would these people 
like it if like you did that to them you know what i mean like that's just horrible i have the worst timing with my periods i got my first one in october 2020 and i have already had it on christmas and christmas eve of course new year's eve and day the first day of school my school's dance a volleyball tournament where i had to stay home because i literally could not move they ended up winning the whole thing and i missed it halloween thanksgiving our last beach vacation we drove six hours and i couldn't even go in the pool or ocean and even my birthday i don't know why my periods have to have such bad timing you just covered basically every single holiday or bad situation that a period could come on like wow You just really do have the worst luck when it comes to periods. I am so sorry <laughs> So it was about a year after I started my period and I was in school I knew I was on my period so I asked my teacher to let me use the restroom She said yes, but there was a whole line of girls waiting to use the restroom I had really bad cramps and explained to the girls I'm on my period so they let me go forward I went to the toilet and I was bleeding heavily and there were a few blood clots and also my blood was a really dark slash purplish color I just put some tissue in my underwear and for whatever reason I don't know how it happened but I forgot to flush. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but I did. And the girl who went into the cubicle after me screamed and said, Why is there jelly in the toilet? Everyone came running and I ran out so embarrassed. That is really embarrassing. At least, I mean, thankfully, of course, they were like all girls and like they could relate. That's just really embarrassing. And it's like everyone knows it was you because like they just saw you leave because there was a line. Oh my God. <laughs> So I was in the bath while on my period and I wasn't wearing anything because I thought the water stopped your period. I hadn't slept at all the night before because my cramps were so bad so I ended up falling asleep in the bath. When I woke up I heard my eight year old brother screaming. He said I had been murdered in the bathtub because there was blood everywhere and I had been asleep. I had to explain to him what happened. Your brother is going to have that memory haunt him and traumatize him for the rest of his life. Okay so one summer I had been going to Mexico to go visit my grandma for her birthday. Keep in mind my period was not supposed to start anytime soon. Normally I had a cycle of 30 to 35 days and I was like on day 19. My grandma did not have enough rooms for everyone to fit in so I had to share a room with my brother 14, my male cousin 17, and my male cousin's friend 17. I was 12 at the time. My brother and my cousin shared a bed and the friend and I each had our own separate beds. When I woke up in the morning I could feel something in my underwear and I prayed that it was just discharge. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. And when I got up there there was a big puddle of blood just sitting on the bed sheets and all the people in the room had seen what had happened. I was so embarrassed. To make matters even worse my parents were divorced and I was traveling with my dad's side of the family and it was so awkward when I had to ask him to get me pads and tampons at the store as you could expect worst vacation ever that is just a nightmare i am so sorry that that happened to you in that kind of circumstance and the last period horror story that i'm going to be reading is the following one is the one i'm about to read my period horror story is the worst thing that has ever happened to me okay so basically i was in sixth grade and i had already had my period for three years there's this girl that has hated me ever since third grade i don't know why anyway i was sitting at lunch with my friends and i had just gotten my period two weeks ago so i had a pad just in case but i didn't think it was going to happen the girl that hates me comes behind me and takes a picture of my pants yes I had blood through my white lululemon pants I didn't notice and then my friend saw her walk over to the boy table and show them her phone wow that is just not okay my friend told me but I shrugged it off and none of my friends noticed the blood on my pants since there wasn't much at the time I didn't notice till the bus ride home only my best friend is on the bus with me since the rest of the kids that live there get rides home or go to the rival school my best friend and me were just talking while looking at people's snapchat stories I kept seeing the one story that almost every boy in the grade had posted a girl with a blood stain on her white pants I shrugged it off until the guy in front of us looked behind and screamed in terror. Someone got stabbed. Someone got stabbed. I looked down and realized that there was blood all over the seat and all over me. The bus driver pulled over and came to me in my best friend's seat. I was really embarrassed because he was a male. Everyone started crowding around my seat and then I have to explain to the whole bus that I was just on my period. Most embarrassed moment of my life. Also love you in your vids, Ruby. Thank you so much. I love you too and I cannot express how sorry I am that that happened to you. One, that is completely not okay with that girl did and two, the someone Oh my god, stop that. It's just so funny. The fact that she posted that, there are just way too many embarrassing layers to the story. I am just really so sorry that that happened to you. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I'm sorry if I look a little horrified right now, but I really truly am like just reading all that. Like just the amount of horror that periods have brought upon even just this like group of people I'm reading stories from. Like periods are just the absolute worst. I am so sorry to everyone out there who like shared their stories that this happened to all of them out there. Thank you all so much for sharing. It's fun to read these, but it's also like, I am so sorry that that happened to you. If your story wasn't featured in this video, make sure to look out for the next community tab post like for this series and you can submit it there. Or like if you're new to my channel, just submit any of your period horror stories the next time I make one of those posts. And so yeah, before you leave, please like this video. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below, periods are truly horrifying because that is something that I learned today through reading all of these period horror stories. And also please subscribe to my YouTube channel because if you did not know already I make so many period videos I have like a huge period playlist on my channel and I also make tons of parts of this series pretty much every month I'm trying to be really consistent with it as I said all the parts of this series like all the parts I've made before will be linked down below for you guys to
to go check out and also just subscribe so like you never miss another part of this series and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and i love you guys bye